You ready? Three, two, one. It is another secret bunker. Welcome everyone, I hope you had an amazing Christmas. Leave a comment down below, what was your favorite Christmas present that you got? If you guys are excited, for the return of videos after an amazing Christmas day, hit that thumbs up button. Today we're going to be exploring a new secret bunker, this time within the snowy part of the map. I'm excited! If you're new around here, make sure you're subscribing for daily videos. And we actually have got a lot of people landing here, and it's all going to be kicking off in the snowy area of the map. These poor guys trying to pick at each other, and I'm the only one with a gun, so I'm going to take a few easy kills there, not even mad. That's three easy kills. Let's go, baby. So, we're heading to the snowy part of the map. And for those of you guys that don't know, in Wailing Woods now, since literally before I can even remember, there has been a secret bunker. Now, I think this appeared in season four or five, uh, ages and ages ago. We've been waiting for something to happen with it. The biggest development has actually been... Let's go, baby. Has actually been with uh, the little, like, magic teleporters that have appeared uh, underneath the uh, bunker area in Wailing Woods. But that's only been added in since and doesn't actually link in with the secret bunker itself. It's just an additional part where all the houses can link together. So, it doesn't really solve that conundrum. This one is basically a brand new secret area of the map with another bunker that we're going to access, which actually cannot be found within a normal game of Fortnite. We are actually going to be going into creative mode. See you later, buddy. And we're actually going to be deleting a part of the map to make this possible. It's kind of cheeky. Just a little bit cheeky. The last time we tried to go into creative mode to uh, do a little bit of a glitch was with the hoverboard. And I was just a little bit too late to it. Literally uh, a few minutes late. Uh, so we're going to make sure that this doesn't happen today. I'm recording this as soon as I've found out about it. So I can share it with you guys as soon as possible. As always, though, a big thank you to everyone that's been using my support to create a code. Hey, it's me, Ali A. If any of you guys have got any V-Bucks or anything over Christmas and you've bought some skins and you have supported me, I really, really appreciate it. All of these guys on screen have used my code. Thank you so much. Keep on tweeting me. Keep on letting me know that you're using it. And you can be shouted out with the next video. You guys are absolutely amazing. It's the only thing I asked for for Christmas. It's for you guys to support me. And loads of you guys have done it. So thank you guys. You're the best. Ooh, it's not zip line. It's been a pretty uh, nasty start here, if I do say so myself. Oh, you ready for this? What up, buddy? One. Two. Three. Oh, see you later. Oh my gosh, I'm so glad they buffed the damage for this weapon. The, the damage fall off was just way too much. It did no damage at range. Now the Deagle is the weapon it's meant to be. Absolutely amazing. Let's see if I got any good loot or anything. How many times is that going to happen to me? Fortnite. What am I doing wrong? I swear down, I'm pressing the jump button on my controller, but for some reason, your boy ain't jumping onto that lit zip line properly. Oh my gosh. So all of this development is really in the bottom corner here. You see these little islands? You may have never been to them. I get quite a lot of tweets actually telling me that they're here and there's actually quite a lot going on inside them, believe it or not. We've got the central one here with a few chests that you can see that possibly spawns in. And uh, you also have over here another island off the actual main part, which is only connected by a zip line. And then you've also got yourself a beautiful little plane to go over there as well. Now, the bit that we're actually interested in is just over here. One thing that's really cool, and a lot of you guys have told me about, firstly, is simply the fact that there's quite a lot of chests here. You've got a few dotted all over the island on each corner, so it's actually a really cool place. I've never landed here in a public game. Maybe I should give it a go. But can you hear that? No, not the chest, not the chest. Can you hear that? That's right. Underneath here is actually something really cool. Now, this isn't a secret bunker. Don't worry. This is just something on the iron share with you guys. But there is a rift here. So once you land here, that's how you can get off really nice and easily and then make your way onto the rest of the map. Simple, simple. Really, really nice and easy. Now, I don't know what they've got planned here, but there's definitely something. Because this giant bulk of ice, snow, whatever you want to call it, unbreakable. And as we know within the world of Fortnite, when something is unbreakable and your pickaxe bounces off of it, especially when it's above ground, that's very, very suspicious. So you know what we're going to do? 
we're going to go into the game and we're going to delete this chunk of ice. So we've returned back to the world of creative where there seems to be quite a lot of glitches and you can have the most fun by actually being able to bring your phone back to Spawn Island. Not even Spawn Island, like the actual full Battle Royale Island. And that's where we can have our fun. I just want to point out, by the way, how amazing that llama is over there. Look at him, just chilling, spying down on us, knowing that we'll never be able to break him because we can't fly in this part. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it works. I just tried it. It didn't work. And I thought this was going to be a repeat of the snowball glitch. But we're in, ladies and gentlemen. As you can see, 4 hours 47 minutes on the timer. We have reached Spawn Island and we have got our phone. So we can do whatever we want to this world. Now, I'm sure you've seen it before, but just for the sake of those few of you guys that haven't, as we know, we have the big bunker in the center of Wailing Woods. You can now go underground to it, but the original and the OG secret bunker is all the way under here. This is the first time you've probably seen anyone actually access this bum bunker with a phone in creative mode, though. And you can, with your phone, go up to this part and just delete toss it and actually get rid of it and actually look into the base. But we've done that before. Uh, in a normal game of Fortnite, so we knew we knew that was possible But I just wanted to show you where the bunker was so bearing in mind the bunker is on the top right side of the map And we're now going all the way to the bottom left side of the map. Okay deleting things is probably the most fun <laughs> Especially because it's a normal part of the map as well now What's been developed in the bunker here at Wailing Woods are these teleporters and bearing in mind for those guys that haven't been paying attention uh, if you actually go through, I think it is actually this room over here, into the back area, all of the testing has started on the rift. Like, there's like literally a scientific, uh, I don't know even what you want to call this, but scientific chamber testing on the rift. And I'm pretty sure that's how they've actually come about and created the teleporters, is through the technology that is in the rift. So as we all know, if we go through the rift, it was teleporters into one of the other rooms that's in Wailing Woods and so forth. It's basically a teleportation tool, but with very short distance. So now let's make our way over to this secret little uh, snow ice cube over here and uh, hit delete on it. Luckily, I remembered on the way that we will need a shopping cart for part of this process. For any of you guys that have seen my OG Wailing Wood secret bunker video, you may know why, but you can't copy it despite the fact that you've got a phone. I can't spawn it in like it actually doesn't let you do any spawning when you're on the main map. Uh, because like you're outside your creative like island bubble. So I'm actually going to have to push this thing the whole way there. Which you guys will literally take half a second. For me, it's going to take a little while. But we'll get there eventually. Don't worry. Alright guys. She has a long journey. <laughs> we've made it though. We've made it. We've made it. I don't think there's any way to actually uh, get to this island normally. You, you've, you, as in like there's no way to get across to it. Unless you build. I tell you if we lose the shopping trolley now. I'm, I'm not going to be a happy bunny. Alright. I'm not gonna be a happy bunny, so let's, let's hope this works first time. <laughs> Tell you what, there aren't many shopping carts that can say they've traveled all the way from Tilted Towers to the outskirts of the snowy edges of the Fortnite map, but this shopping trolley can. So we've made it, we're here, we're back again, <laughs> just this time in creative mode. So, as you already know, you can't break this thing, you can't access it. However, with our phone out, ladies and gentlemen, and bearing in mind you can pretty much delete anything, within uh, creative mode, almost anything. Can we delete this? Well, it is a giant slab that is apparently got a mesh on it. So apparently we can do something with it. I am going to go ahead. I want to try copy it. No, it's not going to let me copy it, actually. Cut it. You can cut it. Oh, you can cut it. Can I get rid of it? I don't think you can cut it and move it around though. It won't let me place it down anywhere. So cutting, even cutting doesn't work. So what we're going to have to do You've already guessed, it's hit that big delete button. You ready? Three, two, one. See you later. And just like that, it's gone. And look what it's revealed. Funnily enough, it is indeed the bunker, ladies and gentlemen. Another secret bunker. Now, I'm looking, this is the first time I've actually ever seen it. There's no like squiggles or like hieroglyphics or like any sort of uh, markings on the back of this one. Pretty sure the bunker in Wailing Woods does have markings on it, or at least did have markings on it. I remember trying to work out what the markings meant and no one really worked it out. Now what's inside this crazy thing, well, if we go ahead and do the old phone trick, we can of course delete the outside. Uh, and to actually get inside it as well, uh, we can have a little bit of fun here. So if we build all the way up to max height and 
The reason I say some of you guys may remember this is because we have actually done it before with the other bunker to get inside that one as well. Pretty sure once we go in, we're not coming out. So yeah, uh, there's not really much more to show in this island apart from the fact it's fully detached. It's in the bottom left corner, the complete opposite corner to Wailing Woods. So let's actually go inside. Now, obviously, the iceberg at the moment is melted, or at least at the time of recording this, it isn't melted. Um, and uh, the map will be continually changing. I am recording videos in advance at the moment because I am going away uh, for Christmas, taking a few days off. Video is still going out. That's why I've made this one right here. But the, I know the map's meant to be covered in more and more snow. I know it's one of the changes. I'm so nervous. Like, I've got no... You know what? I'm not risking this. I'm getting some more wood. <laughs> we know, obviously, that Polar Peaks is actually melting, although snow is still spreading on other parts of the map. So all the parts of the maps are changing, basically, in different ways. But it would have seemed that for some reason, with some event or something in the future, this unbreakable piece of snow covering this current secret base will at some point go and reveal what is here. So if you are ready, hopefully you guys are, we're about to enter... We're going to jump into the cart, go all the way down, and this should... Boom, there you go. Good old glitch still works. Take us inside the bunker. Now, inside this bunker is actually the exact same inside of the bunker, all the way over in Wailing Woods. If I can pull up some old footage, my editor will show you guys what it was like when we went inside there. Now, the reason I did go back and show you Wailing is because this is my theory. Listen up. Listen up. This is what I'm going to say, okay? I reckon... The technology that was developed in Wailing Woods with the portals was beta tested and used on a small scale to obviously teleport between the four houses, one, two, three, four, that is really close to Wailing Woods. Like, it's a really small distance, right? But I reckon that bunker, this is what I think, just my theory, is going to contain a bigger, stronger teleporter that will allow players, if they want, teleport all the way from Wailing Woods to the complete opposite side of the map into this iceberg here. That's my theory. You couldn't get a teleportation part of, a, of the map to go much further than that. From one side to the other side. And who knows, maybe want to be set up near Junk Junction and all the way down in Paradise Palms as well. Because I'd say out of all the corners of the map, at the moment Polar Peak's getting a lot of love. I still really like landing in Paradise Palms. But Wailing Woods, apart from the block, a lot of people landing at the block at the moment, Junk Junction definitely just does not get any love. So to be able to link those corners would be a really good way to actually traverse around the furthest part of the map. Woo! I'm just glad we managed to get here and it actually worked. I'm pretty sure... I think you can actually get out of here. Never tried it before. I think you have to basically bring the car up and like build really, really quickly. And then you can like force yourself your way out. I'm, I'm not going to be able to do it, guys. I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, you're, you're stuck inside. You're either in or you're out. And I'm in right now. But there you go, guys. The new secret bunker. An early look. Deleting ice caps. We're taking a look at what I think is going to be happening with it. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention this now, but I hear it, though. Obviously, you've got the rift right here. So someone's taken rift technology from whaling. Put it here. Clearly, someone is trying something. That's why I think they're going to be linked. Let me know what you guys think. I think it's a solid theory. As we find out more, I'll let you guys know. A fun little video, though. I love exploring. I love just doing little, like, tiny little game-breaking things just to try and work out what's in the mind of Fortnite and what they're thinking next within the world and what's going to be changing. If you enjoyed, give it a big fat thumbs up. You can check out more videos on screen here and in my Fortnite playlist to see more Fortnite videos. If you want to check out my Christmas challenge video, you can as well, just in case you missed it. Thank you so much. Hope you've had an amazing Christmas day. You're all awesome, and I'll see you tomorrow as always for another video. Goodbye.